The notion of embodiment. I talked to Noam Chomsky about this many years ago, but he seemed to think it was critical to have an embodied, you know, and again, that's not impossible. So therefore, it must at some point be explored and, and a proper question. But in the near term, do you think it's more likely we could get a Turing test that's based on a new law of physics, not not or some new discovery or even an old law of physics that's finally understood and, and more predictive and more explanatory, but only on the basis that it's embodied in some sense. In other words, what part of what you do as a theoretical physicist is, pred- is you know, only made possible, enabled by your physical embodiment? Um, well, my physical embodiment in my brain. So the way I look at it is that I am a computer program. I, in other words, I'm an abstraction. Um, I am not the brain. The brain is just the um, hardware on which I am running but I am software. Um, So uh, I am therefore embodied in the brain. If I were embodied in something else with the same computing power, then I would be embodied in that. If it it didn't have the rest of the body, like the arms and legs and so on, then that, that would be equivalent to being in a sensory deprivation tank. But a person in a sensory deprivation tank is still exactly as much of a person as when they're outside. And, you know, if you lose a limb, you don't say, I'm less of a person now. Or, I mean, you might say that, but you'd be, you'd be saying that metaphorically. <laughs> you're not, you're not uh, less entitled to the vote or less entitled to human rights if, if you lose an arm. Um, and uh, I think the same is true of, of the brain. That is, what counts in the brain is the running program. That's what is conscious. That's what has feelings. And that's what is embodied when you mm. talk about something being embodied. I, I am embodied in the brain, mostly. I mean, it's also the rest of the body also plays some role with chemicals and so on. But, but the, that's, again, all just information processing. And the, the brain is the most important because it's the only one in which error correction occurs. Mm. 